happy 2023 i look crazy i'm having a nice saturday at home i have an editing project to do so i'm going to spend most of the day doing that but as you saw i just had trying to sit out there more in the patio i had my water journaled you know chilling it is the seventh so it's been the first week of the year spent new year's eve at my best friend's house we prayed worshiped did vision boards now if you know anything about plants what do i need to do to bring this baby back to life because she's soggy and i need help i'm, I'm gonna go put her outside actually I did a video last year about how to make a vision board that works. This is my 2023 vision board. I put it up in my little reading nook. With the vision board, I just obviously want to put my vision for this year. Um, this year's word or phrase is let it go. I have this portion of the board here is like for my relationships, just like different friendships I have. Then down to this corner, this is like our health and well-being portion. Um, I have like fruits and like uh, every section has a scripture that you know backs the area that I'm talking about some quotes your health is an investment not an expense mindset is everything first um, Corinthians 6 19 20 um, I want to do cycle syncing and just focus on my health and well-being this year um, resting then this is like my career slash creative area here I want to learn Adobe After Effects which I already started a course um, this is literally looks like what I'm seeing right now is like just filming more, growing the channel, editing more, coming up with a business, um, obviously financial freedom, and possibly getting into business with my fiance and my freelance editing, just like building up that and possibly starting my own podcast. I want to do something with podcasting. Also, Godfidence, to have confidence in God this year, prioritize my peace, and be good at setting boundaries to protect myself. Um, we got Deuteronomy 8.18 about wealth, and we got Philippians 4.13 about doing all things through Christ. Um, then I got some quotes, her strength comes from the Lord, debt free, we got a little backdrop of books because I've, believe it or not, I read last year 17 books. They were all fiction and so this year I want to focus more on the non-fiction books and I've already started reading some finance books, some faith related books, so expanding my brain, you know, I want to read and not just read about nothing <laughs> or, you know, you know. So, back to the board. Um, debt free, I want to get, you know, towards my debt, like down, pay my debt down. I'm getting married this year, so I have that. I want to do more Bible studies and just time with God with my partner. That's my vision board for 2023. I was going to do a whole video on how I made it, but I just did one last year, so maybe... I don't know. I would, thought I would at least share it. And I have it in this area, like, hung up on my little reading nook by the window, right next to my side of the bed, so I see it every day when I wake up. Just a good visual reminder of the things that I'm working towards. And part of that, I need to get going and start editing this project that I'm doing for one of my clients. So let's do that for a little bit. Probably for a big chunk of the day, I'm going to be doing that. But yeah, I just wanted to vlog this weekend, get the videos rolling. Let's go do that. What's the next day? I literally did nothing yesterday besides edit. Um, I've got the project done. It's 7.49 on Sunday and so we were gonna go to church but he has to work. So we're gonna watch the service. Um, I'm gonna spend some time with God now and kind of get back into the groove of things. I got this Barefoot Dreams blanket for Christmas and I 
love it so much. It's so, it's so soft. I could go back to sleep right now. <sighs> It is January 9th, so I've been resting. This year I want to kind of shift my content and still do vlogs and life things, but also a big part of my life is my faith and my relationship with God. So I want to share that more. Today, yes, it's January 9th, the Christmas tree still up. Don't judge me. We're gonna be taking it down in another week or two. We just have to get like the Christmas bags and stuff. But today I am building my own planner. Um, I always am on the search for a planner that, yes, it like has the to-dos and the habits and stuff, but also can incorporate faith, my faith habits, like prayers and things of that nature. So I designed my own planner on Canva. We're pausing on the planner portion. I saved that little like spreadsheet thing there so that I can rearrange the pages for printing and stuff. I'm going to order the paper, the ink, the dividers, and... We are going to continue with our rest and reset day. Um, I have a problem relaxing when there's a little bit of a mess. I did make a mess like printing and doing everything. But I'm trying to like ignore it so that I can like watch the TV, have lunch, and chill for a little bit. It's okay. Like, I don't know. I'm just like, I'm trying to break my mindset today of like, you have to be productive for this day to count. I need to rest. Why am I planning my rest day? This is something I need to work on this year. In Jesus' name, I can rest in God. Yes, I can get all that stuff done, but I would put so much pressure and get upset and disappointed when I didn't get all of my to-dos done, and that's what needs to change. I'm okay. It's okay. Okay, so now it is time for the spa self-care portion. Um, time to take off the hat. Clearly, my hair needs to be washed. <laughs> I always feel so much better when I take these showers. The that girl shower, shave, exfoliate, face mask, wash the hair, hair mask, like the whole shipping. So that's what we're gonna do. I want to dry brush. I bought a dry brush paddle a while ago trying to find it so i got this eco tools dry brush paddle a while ago like from amazon i wanted to do that because you're supposed to do it before you shower and just there's like different directions you have to go in I'm done with the dry brush. It felt like, I don't know, like when you itch yourself, when you're itchy and it's just satisfying. But like if you scratch too hard, it hurts. It's, it's like right in the middle of those two. And clearly I need to wash my hair because my scalp is itchy. But we're done with that. Um, next I want to do is kind of clean up my eyebrows and just do like a little facial shave with that razor. I'm going to go in with the Glow Recipe Watermelon Hyaluronic Acid Face Mask. And I'm gonna do this face mask so that it's sitting on my skin while, while I shower.
honestly don't underestimate the power of a shower my best friend and I always joked about this but my mom growing up if anything was wrong she would always say take a shower we would make fun of it but honestly it's true and I love 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 taking showers like these even yesterday like I was editing all day and just frustrated and I stopped and took a shower and I just felt refreshed and like really good but um this shower was face mask, hair mask, exfoliating, shaving, I mean you saw and I just feel like a brand new woman, I have been reborn but now it's time to do the hair um, I'm going to do a whole separate video on trying out my Shark Flex diffuser which is a dupe of the Dyson Airwrap so if you want to see it, stay tuned for that but um, before we do that though, let's do some skincare. So lately, I just haven't been on top of my chapstick game. So we're gonna do that first. Also, I'm gonna do it again before bed. And we're gonna stay hydrated. I have my little glass. I showed you this earlier when I drank my matcha, but I fiance washed it and now I wanted to drink some water while I take care of myself. I'll see you in a little bit when it's time to do our nails. I'm gonna do a dip powder manicure at home. And I know how to do the tips, but I think I'm gonna keep them short this time. I like to change it up, so. All right, so it is 11.30 p.m. I just did my nails. I did a dip manicure set. I just did it over my natural nails because adding the tips does take a lot longer. But I did this color called Espresso Elegance. I like it. Nice, short, simple. But at least I have my nails nice and clean. And they look great. So I think I'm going to call it an end here for this self-care reset day. Definitely in the vlogs to come, we will update with the planner, also with the hair. So you just have to subscribe and stick around so you don't miss some of the updates that are going to come after this video. But I wanted to thank you so much for watching and I hope you join along for this journey this year. It's going to be great. So many crazy things are going to be happening. So if you want to join the journey, just subscribe and stay stick around. I'm going to end the vlog here, let my nails dry, and we gotta head to bed because I have to get back to reality tomorrow and work. Okay, bye!